Jesus. It's like right. <laughs> Ooh. You comfortable? Um, I'm trying. You want to be more comfortable? Oh. No, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, are you coming on to me? He's like, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Whoa. Not yet. We have a whole hour of yeah, this. We, we have a whole hour. The show hasn't started yet. Yeah, not yet? No, Let but me know when I we're mean, going. Count me in. All right. It's 8 o'clock here, Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Okay. Nice night. We got Nick, Lance, and Ant all up in the studio. Yo, yo, very, yo. very special guest. With very us special guest. Today, Lance Stewart, aka hello, hello, hello. Lance 210, right? Lance 210, yeah. Not Lance 210, right? No, no. It's 210. 210, yeah. Right. Divine um, sensation. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, for anyone listening that's like, all right, I don't know the name. Ooh. I may have seen the face, right? We're talking, what, YouTube? We're talking Instagram. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all that. All the that good internet. stuff. Internet. Internet, right? The internet. Yeah, the internet. Yeah, yes. um, five million followers on Instagram. Five million on YouTube. Pretty safe to say you're a popular guy. Do you yeah. think? Do you think Eight million on Facebook? Uh, I have. Okay, Ooh. so I had two Facebook accounts. Mm -hmm. um, my main page had 11 mil. And uh, it right. actually got taken down. So that's a whole. You got to take it down. Yeah. Th oh. There's like this whole thing that we're going through right now. Um, and then I have my other account that has 4.8 mil. So okay. like, that's still standing. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, for anyone like says that's like listening or has heard or like has like seen you in public and they're like, I've seen you somewhere. What? How do you define like what you do? Like, what do you? I mean, I just. I don't know. I just I just tell people like, OK, for example, when I have fans come up to me, they want like a picture. Their parents usually ask me, what do you do? Mm -hmm. Like, why? Why? Why are they coming up to you? Why do they want a picture? I'm like, right. um, depending on who it is, actually, I have two funny stories. Uh, usually, if it's a parent, I'll say oh, I just lost audio. We can just keep on. Right. If you want to take it off, just take it off. No, 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 no. I think we're good now. Cool. All right. Um, usually I'll just say that, I, you know, I post funny YouTube videos. I do like pranks, skits, vlogs with my family. All that good stuff. Um, when people have seen videos of mine before, but they don't like really know my name. They just like seen a couple of my videos. Mm -hmm. They'll be like, where do I know you from? I'll be like, oh, you saw me on Pornhub, bro. <laughs> oh my God. Small dick Rick, look <laughs> me one, up. That's one. And then they start laughing. I'm like, nah, I'm just yeah. playing. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, 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 so many people do that. So many people try to do it. Like what? Your formula works clearly, right? Yeah. Why is that? Like, what are you doing right? Um, dude, honestly, I've been making videos since I was nine years old. Cool. So, bef I started on YouTube when I was nine. I started making like Pokemon videos. Mm -hmm. um, then I transitioned to like making like Call of Duty commentary videos. Mm. I even had like my own like Call of Duty um, uh, clips page where I would, I would post like other people's stuff. It was a community page. Yeah. And then I did. I started doing challenge videos with my friends. And then that led into me starting on Vine once right. Vine came out. And that's kind of where I got, like, my big push. It's crazy. I feel like you're one of the first um, – one of the first of people who kind of took off from doing that. You yeah. Know I mean, like, I, mean I think about it. I just – I just, I, even when I was a little kid, I would always just um, try to entertain people as mu as best as I could, even mm -hmm. if it would embarrass myself. I just loved making people laugh. Right. I've always loved entertaining. So, um, you know, I had such a passion for it already, and then I just really loved the camera and, like, being in front of it. So mm -hmm. I just, over time, learned. I got better. I mean, I remember even, like, my first Vine, my, my, I was so awkward to the camera still. What like, was it? Like, just holding up the camera to my face. I had no facial expression. Uh, it was just like I was like staring there with like a blank face and then and then talking. It was really weird. It was it's like, like you taught yourself how to act. Yeah, right? yeah. Exactly. You, would you define yourself as an actor? Um, yeah, I mean actor entertainer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I oh. mean there's definitely skits in my videos where I act in, and then you know a lot of the times just the vlog with family and mm. everything. When you when you uh go ahead. Essentially, you could be a director too, right? Because these are your yeah. Videos. That's actually yeah. funny because um, you know. I've actually I've gone to a lot of like psychics. You guys are like, are you guys spiritual at all? I am. I am. I do want to tap into that with you. So I've had, had a lot. I've had a lot of people say that like they see me as like a director when I'm older. Okay. And I'm pretty good at directing, um, especially when like we're doing skits. You know, I'll tell my grandma I'm like, okay, we got to do this for this skit, mm. um, or my mom or my dad, whatever it is. Usually, I don't do skits as often as I do pranks. Mm. So obviously, pranks aren't staged. They're just like you just go and do them, and right. not every single time it works out. Right. But when I do get one that works out. It usually ends up doing really good. You strike gold. You yeah. strike gold. It's um, did you like any like plays or anything when you were younger? Like before? No. Or just this is strictly for the camera. Yeah, just for wow. the camera. I mean, I no, 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 even even off camera, I would just I do stupid things just to make people laugh. Um, and and like, how do you how do you measure like how well like what you're putting out is like working? Like, what's your the what's views? Your system? Um, you know, views aren't always relative to how entertaining the content is especially mm -hmm. on youtube it's easier for me to determine on a platform like facebook or instagram right. 
um, Facebook because of the sharing platform. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously, if a video is getting more shares than usual, it's like, okay, people are really enjoying this video. Right. It's a little harder to tell with YouTube. Um, because I've had the dumbest videos get so many views and then the videos that I put the most time and effort into that I think are hilarious do terrible. So yeah, I can I can imagine um, with, with you putting out so much and having such a following that it's like, all right, if I put out something, they're going to watch. But how do I know that it's of Lance 210 value? Like, how do I know that it's at, of the highest, like the high quality? Yeah. You know, like, how do I know that this like this is something that separates it from like the rest? You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean. I think essentially whatever makes me laugh and whatever is entertaining to me, mm -hmm. um, I feel comfortable putting out. I mean, there's been a lot of times where I put out videos that I didn't even think were that funny right. and they and they destroyed. And then there's videos where I put out and I think they're hilarious and they do like, eh. But I mean, it, it's kind of like a game. You kind of get, mm. you kind of, after doing it for so long, you kind of get a feel for like what's going to do good, what's going to do bad. Of course, of course. Yeah. it's like you're uh, it's like you're um, a quarterback. Like you know, that's you good just know. That was you, a good throw. Yeah, that wasn't a, that wasn't a good throw. Hundred percent. Now, do say? you feel because you do vlogs? So you do daily vlogs. You're uploading videos every day. Yes. Do you feel that um, uploading con consistently every day a vlog, a vlog, a vlog, and then like a video that isn't a vlog, like a prank or something? Do you feel that affects your views? Like and the fact that you just upload every day consistently, not everybody gets to see that video. You know what I'm saying? Well, what I started to do was I would actually incorporate like a prank into my vlog. So they see the prank. Um, and then they still see the vlog portion. Uh, you know, enticing. obviously, if somebody doesn't want to watch the full vlog, then they just watch the prank. Sure. Um, I actually did vlogs for like 784 days straight, I think it was. Wow. Uh, Determined. Yeah. And then I had to give myself a break. I started to feel like a, a, like a legit robot. Mm -hmm. um, I started to become I, like lost. I, I almost mm. didn't know who I was as a person. Mm. It was really weird. It's like you were playing. It's like you. Not that you're playing a personality. It's like, all it, right. but you, but you kind of are because I'm, you have to hype it up a little bit right. for the camera. You know, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. obviously it's still me. Yeah. But like, I'm hyping it up a little bit more for the camera. You're trying to satisfy everybody. I'm else trying to entertain and not yourself. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's pretty much what happened to Logan Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. He vlogged for like 460 days in a row, something like that, and then eventually, just like that, it yeah, happens, made a mistake because you're just a you're different you're you're a different person on camera. Whether yeah, you admit it or not, at yeah. least a little bit, and then. So the more you do that, exactly. the more you become that Some, character. someone else, like, yes, yeah, 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 that yeah. exaggerated character. Because he's, he's getting views, and he just wants more views, and he sees more views, more views, more views, and the crazier he and just you get gets thirsty it. for it. Exactly. Yeah, and that's how it drives how, to your head. So how how perpetual is that? That you okay? Because this is this is your living, right? Yeah. Cool. So you're putting out stuff. It's it's essentially it's a caricature of Lance Stewart. Lance Two Ten. It's an extension of you. you yeah. Know what I mean, it's like professional wrestlers. You know, I'm playing a bigger version of myself, right? Yeah. Except for you, it's like I, I I gotta put stuff out there. How taxing is that? How draining can that be? Um, it's very draining. Like mm -hmm. especially if I'm forcing it. You know, my best videos have always been the ones where I've been spontaneous and mm -hmm. I wasn't even thinking about making a video. But when I'm stressing out, I'm like, oh my god, I got I gotta post tomorrow. What am I gonna do? Mm -hmm. I don't have any content. Then I start stressing, and then I start like forcing ideas and you can tell they're forced in the videos there's it's just a, not as there's a genuine spontaneity if you're just like i'm just gonna shoot something right now yeah and then people can kind of just they can like get a feel for How's that feeling like living off views like views it, are happiness you know what i mean yeah dude that's that's what i struggled with for like a very long time was that i would base my entire day around like if a video did bad it would ruin my whole day yeah i like i would feel like a depressed piece of shit of course, you had a bad day at work. So how do yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> What's your advice to get over that? Um, it's still it's still hard for me. Mm. I'm gonna be real, and I've been okay. doing this for so long. What's the hardest part? It's just the mental game. Okay. It's the mental game. Like if I just posted and just didn't look at the views mm -hmm. and the subscribers, like what I lost today, what I gained today, it would be that much easier, right? It's kind of like it's kind of like um, how do I put this? Um, what's what's a good example? I would say something like like Snapchat, for example. I mm -hmm. mean, obviously, you can still see the views, but like, there's no there's no comment. You know, it actually makes it a little bit easier because mm. like, even if somebody hates something, right. there's no way for them to tell you, you that. You can't see it. You can't yeah. See it. How often do you like ask for feedback in like Facebook, like what you can, or or Instagram, where people can comment? How often do you go, yo, like? It tell really me depends. What you want. All right. I, I I tend not to ask. Okay. You know, I just give. Okay. I tend not to ask because I think when you ask, you mm. give them a reason to hate, give you negative feedback. Right. Yeah, hundred percent. Now, did, along with the negative feedback, that kind of comes with the territory of being popular and high demand of content and stuff. Do you? How long did it take the train to ignore those comments? Like, oh, this video sucks. Pretty quickly. You're trash. You're annoying. Pretty quickly. Quickly. I, I, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I kind of expected it going into it. Um, you know, it's a little bit harder for people in my family mm. to not respond. Right, because you're still a person. Exactly. <laughs> like, people, you know, they go on their phones, they go on their laptop, and they're like, all right, Lance 210, this guy, blah, 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 blah. It's like, that's that's still somebody. I son. laugh, bro. Yeah, yeah, I laugh at those comments. But, like, for people like my mother, for example, sometimes she takes some of these comments to heart, and I'm like, Mom, just relax a little bit. It's okay. It's what, is, what is the constant criticism? Um... That really, that like that, it's it's the, it's a concept that you're like, this still gets to me. I'm trying to figure out how to let it have it not get to me, but there's not anything specific really. Okay. Um, one thing that did kind of get to me was like, uh, for the past couple of years, you know, I got into bodybuilding like when I was like, uh, I think I was a sophomore in high school or a freshman, mm -hmm. and I first started off very very skinny, right. extremely skinny. Um, I was like hunched over all the time, really lanky. So I wanted to put on size. Mm. At first, I wanted to get a six pack, so I did that. And then I was like, okay, this isn't enough. Like I'm not big. So mm. I ended up getting chubby because I wanted to put on so much size and I started eating a lot. And it was really hard for me to like get out of that stage. So for the past like couple of years, I've been chubby and I've had like no neck uh, and I've had like a double chin. It was bad. And just as of recently, I've I started. I feel like that's me right now. Like yeah, there was a point where, <laughs> it's not that bad, bro. You're good. No, nah, there was a point where this is this is all this is fooling everyone. I purposely wear long sleeves. <laughs> this is this is this is all just a facade. No, um, there was a point same coming out of college where I was like two hundred, like unhealthy. Yeah, right. And I cut down way down. Right. I got the abs back and everything. Like it was. I was. But then I was like, I'm too small. Yeah, so back up. It's and that I'm, constant battle, hey, man. Can't do it. Yeah. You'll never get over that battle. You'll never get over oh, that hill. Oh, never, never. But this is the thing. I'm kind of like, I, I'm doing a 60-day transformation right now. I'm, mm -hmm. like, I'm like day 56 or 57 right there now. There you go. And I'm like, I'm happy with my body now because I've put on enough size where I'm like, okay, I'm not like this skinny piece of shit anymore. Mm -hmm. I, like I have muscle to me and now I'm just trying to be lean and have a six pack and right and actually have a jawline again <laughs> and, <laughs> and that's like pictures and videos and everything yeah in terms of like all your content who who does your stuff is there like a small team that you have or it's all me it's all you it's all yeah me. I know a lot of people a lot of social media influencers hire an entire team but simply I I've I've dealt with a little bit of a team in the past and in, in, in terms of like creation mm -hmm. it never works it never works for me because mm. Nobody can see my vision. Nobody, nobody mm -hmm. understands my vision for the content that I want to make. Do you think that's connected to? Well, I got my start by myself, so let me not deviate. I'm not gonna fix. You know, it's not, yeah. I mean, it's that not could, broke exactly. Don't yeah. Don't fix something that's not broke. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred um, percent. I mean, it, of course, if I had a team, it would be a lot like a wide scale team that was helping me create content um, and give, helping me like give me ideas and stuff like that. It would mm -hmm. be a lot easier, but. It's not about the easiness for me. Mm -hmm. It's not about the amount that I put out. It's about the quality of it. Right. right. You so, lose the quality. Exactly. Of, it's almost like when you franchise a business and you yeah. expand. Like 100%. McDonald's just loses quality. You know? Yeah. What's the most important? Like like you said, like as a business, like clearly you're a brand. Like what for you, the most important thing, like as a brand, like as, you know, the Lance Tutan brand, what's the, what's the must have? The must have? Mm -hmm. I just, I don't know. Did I just, I like to entertain. Mm. That's what I like to do. Like, if all of this was to go away, I don't care. I'll really? still be making people laugh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Have you thought of transitioning into, like, stand-up or, like, doing film or anything? I've never thought about stand-up. Um, honestly, I'd probably be a little nervous at first, but mm -hmm. it's just like anything else. You'll overcome that fear, and you'll, you'll get better as right. time passes. Practice makes perfect. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I did want to do film. I actually got signed by UTA, United Talent Agency. Um, Congratulations. And well, I was, I oh, was, was. Oh. so thank you. Uh -oh. But um, I actually, like I actually um, stopped working with them because at the time I was more focused on my social media. Mm -hmm. They were more focused on the acting side of it, and I just my head wasn't there. Mm -hmm. So it really wasn't in my best interest and in their best interest at the time. Um, so I, I wanted to, I went out to LA actually. I moved out there when I was like 17 years old mm -hmm. to pursue acting. But my head was so caught up in the social media and what was already working, so I just stuck to that. Was anybody trying to say, hey, dude, get your head together. Like, these people are trying to, like, get you to do. No, because I was I'm just so successful at what I was doing. Right. So you already had, you're already with this big following. Yeah. So you kind of really didn't need UTA. In no. A sense. No, no. They no. needed you more than you needed them. Would you say that? Uh, or was it just I, an interest in Lance? It was an in, yeah, it was an interest for sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. I like that. Okay. Good morning. Music? Music? Rap, sing. Oh. So, um, 
I was never a good singer, but just like anything else, everything practice makes perfect. I, I, I sing in the car all the time. I've gotten way better over the years. As do we all. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> rapping, I'm, I feel like I'm pretty decent at, so maybe that's something that I'll pursue in the Some, future. Even in the future. Even, yeah. Yeah, yeah, even if it's just like a song or two. But like whatever I put out is going to be heat. I'm not going to put out garbage. Right. I wish I could say the same thing. I got to <laughs> go on stage with my favorite actor. Uh, not the best thing in the world. Yeah. You know, It's not going to. Me. Who do you, who do you mm-hmm. listen to? Who do I listen to? Who's your go-to? <sighs> Rap-wise? Or just um, music in general. Did, uh, it doesn't have to be rap. I know that I can't stand this current climate of hip hop. Let me yeah, find I mean, out Lance is a big R and B guy. Ooh. Let me find I out. I like I like I like Eminem. I like Big okay. Sean. I like J. Cole. Hmm. Um who else? Gucci Mane. Um So a lot of mainstream. You yeah. Know, mainstream. You yeah. go into underground anymore? Like I don't really no, no. not really. I just kinda like Fair go enough. through Spotify, see what's new. Discover the world. Discover new yeah. music artists. I have a I'm eclectic, but not nearly as eclectic as it. It sounds if you just listen to what it's all old school R and B. Yeah. Or um I like I like entertainers. Yeah. So I'm big into Bruno. Oh yeah, I'm he's big, great. I'm big you could into, sing, dance, play an instrument, yeah, yeah. Sing, yeah. performance. You know, Very talented. Authentic. What were what were we listening to before I put my song on in the car? Even like Jason Derulo is great. What was I listening to? Yeah, well, before I before I was listening to Drake. Drake. Oh, Drake, phenomenal, bro. How so, do you, can't how do, do it. How do you not like Drake? Can't do I was it. How do you not like Drake? Oh, though? wait, this can't is the this is the Bay time. Can't do it because he, he's, I, he's 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 too mainstream for you. Nah, he's wheelchair Jimmy from Degrassi. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's who he is. I'm always gonna see him as man. Yo, what? what? Yeah. Ready? You so, can't sing. No, it's so my brother went out to school for California in, okay. uh, in California. So he came back and it's like 2009, right? So okay. like. Put yourself in that time. He's like, dude, there's a guy over there. He does these pop-up concerts. Like, he just posts it on Twitter, and then he just shows up, and he just goes cr- And people love him. Like, that's his way of branding him. And I was just like, all right, all right, cool. I wasn't thinking much of it. Flipping through the TV, and he's like, that's him. And I'm like, what do you mean that's him? That's him. I'm like, the guy in the wheelchair? He was watching Degrassi. And I was yeah. just like, oh, wheelchair Jimmy? He's like, I promise you, he's going to be the biggest thing. And then Best I Ever Had came out, like, that summer. Crazy. It's crazy. That, that, I'll, I'll give him like best I ever had over like that was his good stuff. Now he's just uh, yeah. That was like yeah. his good stuff. I, I can't say that. It it it's for me. It's uh, it's for everybody. You I like you can't say it's not good though. You're I'm talking to, to Nick. I'm here. trying to figure out what doesn't. Make him I'm trying to figure out. I'm not sure. Um, I just don't. I don't listen enough. I guess he's on He's got top, a few man. songs that I think are are, are good. I like. He's killing it. What song is coming. that? What song I might is be too strong. I don't count over those on You mean from like 2008? That's, yeah, that's an old song. That's, 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 that's what, old what I'm saying. saying. I like that, but yeah. um, you used to call me. Um, I hate that. Oh, okay, well, yeah. well, that's just overplayed. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's that's, that's what it is. Everything now it's, he's it's so big. Everything yeah. is overplayed. Yeah. It's, there's no there's no new content that's why that comes out. He's really. definitely a pop. One of the first um or the new, the newest generations pop hip hop guys. Like he's a pop star. You yeah. go to his show, he comes down from the ceiling. <laughs> there's lights and pyro. Well, he's got entertainment. He yeah. does entertain, which yeah. I which I, I I dig it. Which I, that's that's yeah. Fine. I've gone to a concert a couple months ago. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I was like I was like oh, so my brother showed me videos. I was like oh, he's like a pop star. He just uses hip hop as his vehicle. It's like, almost like Linkin Park when they turn rock into alternative rock. It's, it's, rap, essentially, you know, essentially, right? Um, is that what you listen to when you're lifting? Uh, sometimes I'll listen, I'll listen to Drake. It really depends. Drake. But yeah, like you said, a lot of his stuff's overplayed. But that's also another reason why I don't listen to normal radio anymore. Mm-hmm. I just, I'm always listening to Spotify or like or whatever, uh, Apple Music, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, as you were uh, putting out content like to begin with, right, what was like the biggest change and how that affects like your relationships with your parents, um, siblings, cousins, friends, um, all that like what was the i realized how many fake people were in my life mm. and not within my family everyone that wasn't in my family Probably. not everyone that's, that's pushing it but um a majority yeah it's sad because it's like i feel like it's a blessing but a curse at the same time because if i if i never became this person that i am right mm-hmm. with the followers and whatever um i would have never seen that side of them you know mm-hmm. but it's like like they say like money uh, uh, changes people not st- not saying that's me but mm-hmm. it's changing the people around me it's like it's oh. making them crazy and it's like okay like they leech on to me and they like they want they want the followers they want the money they want all this and like i've i've, I've tried helping friends before people right. that i felt bad for and dude every time it just fucks when, me over when you say help like lending no bro i literally gave these people a career bro really yeah okay yeah 
you how, would give how? them a platform. Yeah, I gave them a platform. I gave weren't... them followers. I literally gave them an, an opportunity yeah. to like, like, like literally have a career. Which is as good as because me. essentially, yeah. like essentially, followers on social media now can become a career. Yeah, exactly. public figures. Yeah, yeah. Instagram yeah. people. How often do you like to collaborate? Um, I don't do it very often, honestly. I okay. kind of stay close to myself because uh, I keep my circle small. I- I've noticed a lot of people in LA are like really fucking fake. So, so they, but they all kind of like use each other. It's really weird. Yeah. So collabs are more for Vine. No, 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 no. They they are for like YouTube and stuff. But like, um, don't get me wrong. They help a lot. That right. helps. It helps a lot. But like, when 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 somebody comes into my life, I want them to be genuine to me, not just wanting to use me. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like I want to be friends with you. I don't want I don't want to just like collab and never never talk to you again. Yeah. 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 That's why I'm happy that this worked out. Yeah. Hundred percent. I mean? Because like this was like oh shoot you know I mean it would be cool to have them on I mean yeah. Why not? Um, just get some no, talk. Mind. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, is 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 that like taxing on like what you look for in relationships, friendships? Is it? Do you? Is that any trust issues or anything? Yeah, I've hella trust issues. I mean, yeah. for example, I had a friend, somebody I thought was my friend. Uh-huh. Uh, we were friends for like six months. He just really started getting like sketchy every time he came over. It was like something really off about him. Sketchy. And then uh, one night, he ended up stealing. My Rolex out of my house, fifteen thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah, damn, sick. That's, that's <laughs> now now that I knew about. If you care to elaborate, did you get it go, back. Go I'm ahead. not gonna elaborate on it, but um, yeah, I did get it back. But it was like there's like diamonds missing out of the face, and like it was all effed up, like clearly like beaten out of trying to get that's the crazy. diamonds out of. Um, I went to court the other day about it. Yeah, it's it's still an ongoing case. But, but even that, that's what I'm talking about. It's that trust perpe- issues, man. That's it's perpetual thing. Like it's it's crazy when like like to me, I'm thinking about. It, I'm like. Had he not, it's like a car, bro. Yeah, and I trust. I don't give a fuck about the money. I could care less, bro. It's about the trust and yeah. the fact that he did that. Yeah, bro. betrayal. I already have trust issues to begin with, and yeah. then it's like that on top that of that. Bar. Like, how many? It's s- almost like being cheated on. Mm, yeah. Know? How am I gonna get into another relationship with yeah, this last that's, girl? That's scary, bro. Right. Just think about. Yeah. How many um? How many social circles are you part of? Uh, myself. Just yourself, <laughs> just bro. It's limited. very, very limited. Like I, I speak mm. to very few people on social media. Like, Man. uh. For example, like Big Nick is a close friend of mine. Okay. Yep. Um, who else? Um, I don't, I don't know, dude. I don't I don't really talk to too many people. <clears throat> it's like people reach out to me every once in a while, and, I, and I'm cool with them. But yeah. like people that I actually talk to on like a normal daily basis, very very limited. So I kind of got like a two parter for you. So sure. Would you say like going to, back to your question? Would you say you kind of like your own circle? Like people kind of gravitate to you more. 100%. And you just let them in at that point. Yeah. It's like your circle. You're not joining anyone else. This is my issue. Is I'm I'm too kind. I literally, yeah. I, I've, mm-hmm. whenever somebody comes into my life, I like, I like, I try to make them feel comfortable, right? And sometimes they take my kindness as a weakness. And like, I straight up, like, I help them out in so many different ways and like, let, and teach them. And like, bro, yeah. it just, it ends up bad for me in the end. I got to learn to like, yep. pull myself back a little bit and not give so much info and, right. and help as much as I, as I do. Where, yeah, does, like, where does that come from? Um, my kindness? Yeah. Is that like? It's just me, man. I yeah. don't know. Mm. It's just how I am as a person, I guess. I've I mean, always been that way. I've always been so giving, and I don't that's know. that's good that uh, you know, you've had, as we all do, unfortunate run run-ins with people who you thought were your friends, and bro. At the end of the day, it's all life lessons that we yeah. all have to go through, no matter what. Everybody goes through these learned. things differently. Live and you learn. Yeah, it's yeah. it's good that you're still like you know what. Still gonna, you can't take my smile like that. that no, I, bro. That idea. No, no, no. That happened. The, mm. the whole watch thing, and I literally laughed. Oh. I was like, "You gotta be kidding me! Like, were this is hilarious." Were you, no. like, were you surprised that he did that, or could you kind of see? Okay. Yeah, I was kind of surprised, but like, I didn't let it affect me. Like, didn't let it affect it didn't. It didn't affect my happiness. It didn't affect anything. That's that's a huge thing that I've learned in the past couple months is like, not letting things get to me as much, mm. especially with like, the YouTube views or like the how did this get enough likes or mm. like. Shit like that. Um, I I've I've tried to focus on my happiness because at the end of the day, it's all about you. Right. It's all yeah. At the end of the day, you gotta worry about yourself. Yeah. And I was so gung ho about like just worrying about other people all the time, and I literally would have anxiety all the time because I have to do this for this person, this for yeah. that person. I never got time to like just sit back and like focus on me. And I I took off from vlogging for yeah, the saw. past like month and a half stuff, because right. of that, dude. Like. I, I was going crazy. I, I just came out of my relationship. I was my head's going insane mm-hmm. and I I just needed a break. And 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 whenever I've said that I was gonna take a break, I never actually fully took a break. Mm-hmm. I would always be doing like behind the scenes thing. Right. The past two weeks I've like officially taken a full break. 
the only thing I've been doing all day long has been going to the gym, mm-hmm. doing cardio, doing circuits, running, like just focusing on me and trying to make myself happy first before I can make others. And I see that with happy. this guy a lot. I'm, I'll be the first one to say it. Back when we were just start working at the job we just recently got, this man sold out tickets for me to go see Bruno Mars and Justin Timberlake. That's sick. You know, he had money saved up and he forgot that he I took did that. Me, yeah. He took me out <laughs> to go do it. And me being me, um, I didn't have a lot of funds at the time. I'll be, I'll be dead honest. You know, I was always like, how am I going to pay him back like subconsciously? And he never hounded me once. Yeah. It was like, okay, he'll well, see, that's how pay I am. back over mm-hmm. time. And he let that go and I'm subconsciously worrying about it while I'm working and I remember like one day I walked up to him and I just handed him $200 cash he's like well why all this for some reason I felt monthly payments weren't a smart idea subconsciously to myself so mm-hmm. I never opened it yeah. and this man never said a word he does this for everybody so like he probably he too often to you. Yeah. probably too often it's I- like it's like it's, it's, it's one of those hard things because I'm, I mean I, at the end of the day I guess it, it helps you realize who's real and who's not Yeah. you know um but dude, I've done that before. I've lent like thousands of dollars to my friends, and some of the, sometimes I never get it back, and, and they're just like fifteen hundred in the hole, bro. right? That's my, yeah. somebody that I know, someone very close to me, owes me like almost two grand. Now, do you yeah. feel? Um, obviously, money's not an object to you. Like you don't care about the money; you care about Material- your life. Yeah, yeah. You're materialistic happy. stuff doesn't really matter. It's like cool. I have like I have like nice cars and stuff, but like at the end of the day, it doesn't mean shit. You want to be happy. You want yeah. that. I hey. feel like nice is an understatement on the car part. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you have. <laughs> A decent. Oh, I've got a few decent whips. You got some. You got some. Uh, I'm not even a car guy, but I'm like, you know what? I would drive that. You Thank know? you. Thank you. Um, I'll never you, afford that. Yeah. But. So I speak into existence one day. Um, one day. No, no, no. You, you have to start saying to yourself that you will. Yeah. And yeah. like you like. Okay, so this is uh, pretty much law of attraction. Yep. Per se. So the more you say that something isn't going to happen, mm-hmm. it won't happen. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like, for example. If somebody was telling you that you're a piece of shit every single day of your life and you started believing that, mm-hmm. you will literally become like a fat piece of shit and you won't mm-hmm. do anything with your life. If some, if I hyped you up every single day of your life and told you that you're the best looking person to ever exist, <clears throat> you will literally start to become that because you're mm-hmm. thinking it. It's like exactly. a manifestation of thoughts. It's really right. weird. Everything in life is mental, bro. Everything. How much of that has to be internal though? I'm going to let Ann go after this. How much of that has to be like on the person themselves too? To um to believe that like if someone's putting their stock in you like I love you I love, you're you're great like you know hyping you up how much of that does the person have to manifest that within themselves they have to believe it entirely yeah so but, so how I go about life is I know I can do anything and everything I want in life I can become a singer I can become whatever I want mm-hmm. all I have to do is believe in myself set myself a goal goals are very important mm. without a goal you're just doing the same thing every day without going anywhere and you're proving it essentially exactly mm-hmm. and I'm doing that with my, my transformation body. my body transformation right. but I literally looked at myself in the mirror one day and I was like I said to myself, I, I'm not going to look like this anymore. I literally told myself that I'm – this is this is a little cocky, but I'm, I'm mm-hmm. not trying to make it cocky. It's just my image of how I wanted it to happen. So I spoke it out into the universe, but mm-hmm. I, I straight up said to myself, I was like, I'm going to be one of the sexiest men to ever walk planet Earth. <laughs> there you go. I yeah. said that to myself. You need that confidence. You need that confidence. It's not, that's because I don't want to half-ass it. I don't want to be like, oh, well, I, I want to look like – I want to look good. No, you need what yeah. I what I shoot for is the best of the best with everything. More, Be more, proud more. Of yourself. Once exactly. You do. Look at the rock. Exactly. Being cocky, bro. I, I think I'm sitting at like 12 percent body fat right now, mm-hmm. and I want to be at six. Like I feel like I look. I can finally officially say I said this to myself in the mirror earlier today. I was like, I'm finally happy with myself. I'm mm-hmm. finally happy with the way I look. But there's always room for improvement always. with everything. So I want to get down to like 6% body fat. Okay. But I do that with my videos too. I'm like, oh my God, I'm doing so good today, but more. I, there's always room for improvement. Right. Always so room. In terms of like hobbies and like re- relaxing, like what's your go-to? Like when you're not like so working on yourself, like what's your like, let me es- kind of escape from that and just have a little bit of fun? Nothing, dude. Nothing. Nothing. Everything in my life is either work. Really? Or the gym. Okay. At Work related in some sense. Mm. Even me, like... I, I guess my only really chill time outside of like working is is the gym and like going in a hot tub. And speaking of free time, do you do you consume any YouTube content or any other very minimally? Content? Um, very yeah. minimally. If so who? I watch a few people. I watch like like my boy Logan. I watch um, uh, who else? I watch David Dobrik's pr- pretty funny. So it's very minimal. Mm-hmm. Um, any inspirations? Any inspirations? Yeah. Is anybody that just like you know what they're really killing it in terms of like all. Oh, 
idol celebrity, Sometimes not just social media. What I do is I don't really, uh, I don't really, I don't really watch too many people. At all, but sometimes I'll see who's popping at a time mm. and analyze their content and see like what they're doing, what's working. Try to like kind of take like bits and pieces at everyone and mm. like make it into my own. And right. you know what I mean? Yeah. So you you know you get inspired by other people. Yeah. Maybe they they record um, camera angles a certain way. It's like oh that's so sick. I never thought of that. So you just you you like watch and you learn. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, but it, it's very rare when I'm even watching anymore because I I did notice that the more I watched other people, the more it made me feel crappy about myself. Really? If that makes sense. It's you're kind comparing. of like this, you're, you're comparing. Huh? Think about this. Instagram. You go on Instagram every day. You see people like. Acting like they're posted up in, in, in Dubai right now and they're really yeah. just sitting at home. Yeah. And they've had that picture saved for months. Yeah. And they're posting new pictures every single day of them ex exploring the world. But they've had, they, they've had millions of pictures taken. You know what I mean? It, right, it literally you, it messes you, with your head. But you actually live closer to that life. So, like, what, what, do you, what would you say that you – I'm you still not doing that. I could. Mm -hmm. I could be traveling all the time. But, like, I just choose not you, to. You, you choose not to. Why is that? Um, I don't know. Maybe like I'm still like coming out of my shell a little bit. Mm. Like I'm trying to figure out like what I'm trying to do, who I am as a who person. You are. Still, You're trying to grow. Yeah, bro. Big. I mean, I'm still young, bro. Like, it, it's it's pretty. Th when they say this, it's, it's it's actually very true. It's really hard growing, and 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 I don't like to use this term. People call me famous. I don't like that term. Mm. I still don't consider myself famous. I wouldn't consider myself famous until like I'm I'm like a lead role in like a movie that does like insane, what, what bro, you about or like that? a TV show. Uh, what'd you say? What throws you about that? What about that is like, you're like, mm, I don't want that label. Not yet. Yeah, I don't know. I just like, I'm just like, hey, I'm just like a dude with some followers on social you media. Be you don't yeah. want to let that go to your head. Yeah, yeah, 100%. You got to stay humble about it. It will, mm. it will. The more, I, the more I think I am, the more I'm like cocky about it. I don't want right. that. So um, I, I lost track of where I was going with that. You're good. But, <laughs> you're good. We were talking about... um. Um, watching other people and like um, staying in oh Jersey. yeah yeah the whole Instagram <clears throat> thing dude like I I just think that people get depressed looking at how much better other people's lives are mm. when in reality you look at these like top people on Instagram bro a lot of their shit is staged I literally, and I in the sense of like where they go their pictures everything I actually just put the little timer thing on my social medias yeah. So like, I only have like an hour and fifteen minutes a day of all social media for throughout the day. What? Oh really? Yeah. I haven't. I had. I yeah. can't. I mean, I obviously, just I can't do that. But it's <laughs> on the app that you can like. No, it's it. on. It's iPhone settings. But I actually, yeah. you can click when you go, when you try opening the app after you run out of time. You can click. That's scary. You, you can click. Um, let me in for fifteen more minutes, or you can say let me in for the day, and I just go in at fifteen minutes, fifteen minutes, fifteen minutes. Yeah, but I think it's like it helps a little bit. But people can do it. Yeah. Your phone can tell which app is a social media app. Yes. And then won't let you. Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. All right. Can we be real for a second? Yeah. Hold up. Look at this. All right. This thing. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Do you see this? I do. We we take this for granted yes. so much. Yes. How don't. can this thin device yeah. do everything that we need it to do? This doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh, dude. I this does all not the time. make who was any the, uh, sense. Okay. Who was the uh, comedian that was talking about when you um, your phone, if your phone's not working and you take it into like the store and they're like... <laughs> It's too slow. And it's like, dude, it's going to space. <laughs> like, it's going to space and back. Give it a second. Like, it, 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 it'll be fine. Oh, yeah, like, we you're, definitely take this stuff for granted. Yeah, definitely, you do, you do carry a miracle in your pocket every day. It's it, a calculator. It's a computer. It's a it's camera. A little it's a bit flashlight. It's too convenient. Do you have a conspiracy? Yeah, ooh, I'm feeling a conspiracy. Yeah, bro, That's yeah, what I'm yeah, getting yeah. the vibe. A conspiracy. I think, listen, I'm, I'm huge on conspiracies, man, if I'm going to be real. Mm. I, I'm gonna sound crazy. What's your number one? I'm gonna I'm sound crazy. I know people are gonna think I'm crazy, You're but at the end crazy. of the day, I I kind of think we almost live in like a simulation. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I believe it. We're a test trial of hmm. another race, dude. I I have this I have this conspiracy in my head that like I also think that the life that I'm living right now has already been lived. Hmm. That's, has already been played out. I'm kind of like a mirror image of something that's like already happened. Oh, mm. like that's kind of like why we get like deja vu. Interesting. Oh, like I've seen this before. Because it's kind of like your life is a constant replay of itself over and over and over again. Oh. Did you know that when you die, there is a chemical released in your brain called DMT? Yes. And when a chemical is released, you literally play your entire life over. Yep, the brain lives like another seven minutes like after death, right? Yes, mm -hmm. but to you, it's your entire life over again. So who says that I'm not living my life over again at the moment? It's that seven minutes. It's like oh, that's different. oh my gosh, that's that's, so that's seven crazy. Minutes to think about. That's yeah, it's, it's like, like yeah, eighty yeah, years. Yes, yes, yes. Think uh, about it. time is irre irrelevant. That's time so isn't, weird. Time isn't 
time is hu- human made, man yeah. made. Hmm. Time isn't a real the thing. The frame, the framing of time. Yes, right. like the framing. Of like it. one p.m. That that was never like right. a, a thing. It just became man made. Winter, spring, so, summer, so fall. So what that's I'm a saying is, and a one hours for us mm-hmm. could be millions of years for someone that lives in like, for example, there's aliens, right? They live in like another planet, right? You know what I mean? We don't know that time difference. Hmm. Interesting. I think we found Lance's uh, movie. <laughs> the I idea mean, that a guy is, uh, you know, he's actually dying. That's still scary to think about. Like, I think about some days, like, our planet's just floating in space that extends for. Okay, I got, I got a question. Are, like, you, are, are you a flat earther? Oh my gosh, I knew this was oh, gonna come up. Come I knew on. this was gonna come up. I'm not. I am not a flat right. earther. No. Be because. I'm educated. <laughs> All right. like, All right, so, you're so, educated based so off of you? information that somebody else has told you, are not you? based off of your own personal are thoughts. You, are you a are you flat earther? Uh, I would say yes, and this is the reason really? why. If um, the way evo- the way I, I the way I perceive life is the way evolution has started is we we almost kind of started off like a video game. Hmm. Okay, um, you know we were this darkness for like millions and millions of Level years. Up. Just darkness. Mm. I don't know that the planet. It was like this is actually kind of like the Big Bang theory, mm. right? And I didn't even know what the Big Bang theory was. I've heard of it before, but mm-hmm. when I described this to a friend, he's like, "Dude, you just described the Big Bang theory." Mm-hmm. I was like, "What? This is kind of just like my own thoughts. It's pretty weird." But there was like this darkness for like millions and millions of years, and then it became into this light, random light from millions and millions of years, and then that light like broke off into its own like little sector. And then millions and millions of years, it's like, okay, like we need to start adding pieces to the puzzle. So like zeros and ones start getting added to it and then colors start getting added to it. And then you have things that could us at one point have been like 8-bit Mario. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Then 16-bit, then 32-bit. Then you become like a one-dimensional figure, two-dimensional figure, three-dimensional. What do we consider it? I think we're four-dimensional, right? Uh, I'm black. (laughs) <laughs> well, <laughs> so we, we just stick. What are you that's, trying to say? That's what I can no, say. I, I, I thought you were educated. <laughs> I thought you were educated. Myself. Do you believe in a higher power, uh, intelligent design, a higher power, a deity? Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I think there's definitely. So, so what? I, back to what I was saying though yeah. is, I, I think we're. I'm pretty sure we're considered four dimensional, right? Okay. So who says that in millions and millions of years we aren't going to be a fifth dimensional figure? Evolve more. Be able to well, cross what, what would have fit them in? Yeah, cross, we cross can't perceive realms. that. We can't perceive that. Interesting. It's like they say that there's colors out there that you can't imagine. Yeah, hundred percent. Roy G. Biv. That's all you have. But like, <laughs> imagine another color. Well, we can't see a dimension higher than ours. Right, we're, know, and it's and it's there. We're, we're, we are going at light speed, so. Have you heard crazy. of conspiracy theories? There's so many different years. possibilities. It's it's pretty insane. There's so many. Have you heard of the conspiracy theories that we originally took over Mars? And we were the meteor, like, uh, we destroyed Mars, we were the meteor or the asteroid that killed off the dinosaurs, now we're destroying Earth, and now we're trying to go back to Mars. Really? Yeah, my that, sociology um, teacher, wild. my sociology teacher brought that up the other day in class, and I was like, I don't even want to get into this. This is what sucks, like, but there's so many different conspiracies, there's like, there's conspiracy so many different things there's you can think of, the, and it's like, it drives me insane, I've never I just want to know. Until was, my pr- own professor, a person that's going to be teaching me mm. stuff for life out in the real world, is telling me, hey... Have you guys know that we potentially took over Mars first, destroyed that planet, came to Earth, destroyed it, and we're trying to go back? Destroy I, it again. I wrote a, uh, I wrote a, like a treatment for like a, a film that I do want to make eventually, where that's essentially the plot. The plot is that we are the Martians, right? I, I don't actually believe it. Like God, you it's know possible. me. You wrote it, yeah. You 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 know me. Yes, I have my yes. beliefs and everything. Um, but it's just for me, it's a fun idea that we were Martians and we were able to see. Oh my gosh, our planet's gonna die. We should take our DNA and put it somewhere else. Okay. Right. That way, our our species can can live, live on, right? Yeah. And we put it on Earth. And as we got to Earth, like in my head, like the ending of the story would be that there's other like races. That are doing the same exact thing. Yeah. So it's like, oh, that explains Chinese. That explains Caucasian. That explains so, African. That explains why you so, have blonde hair and I have brown. It or, explains like, for it, example. which is why we're kind of always fighting over dumb stuff. Like you don't look like me. It's just like we're not from the same. <sighs> Bro, I want to say crazy. something. I want to say something. Mm. This this world is so dumb because if we all just kind of work together, mm. we are, we would elevate so much yes. better and yes. so much more. Um. A lot of time and resources of people right now is focused on literally hatred towards it's just each, hating other. each other, and yeah. it's terrible, bro. It's it's and and dude, the media does this shit. 
I it's was, the uh, media. I do not watch any TV. I do not. It's I, I never watch TV. I watch movies and films because yeah. that's dope. Um, but like simple things as like advertising advertisements, mm. like. Bro, I, I I've seen so many like racist advertisement ads from it's back in like the eighties. Everything's so It's all money, and money is the root so of all evil. Yeah, mm-hmm. like if you think about it, you're doing things. The love of money. The, the love of money is the root of all evil. Yes. The love of money. There's like, a lot of great people. People can't money, get enough of it. Yeah, the love of it. If you're greedy, um, if Bill Gates, right, gives his stuff away all the time. Akon gives his stuff away all the time. So it's not money itself. Not having. It's the love, the greed. I'll kill you to, to have your land. It's messed right? up. Like all that. Yeah. My God's better than your God, so you have to die. Give me your crops. Like that. The love, the greed of your friend possession. destroyed your Rolex. Yeah. Yeah. To get a that couple whole. diamonds. Yeah. No, he was gonna keep it, but <laughs> he was he was Lance gonna said, keep it. Listen now, bro. Yeah. Wasn't a very good no, plan. no, no, no. The, the, we we told we told there was a bunch of people involved, and we told all of them that there's a tracker in there, mm. and by 5 p.m. once the jeweler opens up, we will have. The uh, we'll Location. be able to track it. Yeah, oh, boy. there was not really a tracker. <laughs> we kind of bullshitted that, but it worked. Whatever. Um, Works. and yeah, I got it. I got it back. All messed up. But so it's safe to say that you're 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 uh, you're spiritual. Yeah, hundred percent. Safe to say. Yeah, what? I meditate. Okay. Um, but this is the thing. Like meditation, I think is part of Buddhism. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't have. I believe in a higher power. I believe in a god. Um, but mm. I don't have like a specific. Mm religion that i go geared towards i'm kind of like a little bit of like everything bro like really? i believe in so many different things very will smith you know uh, just is a, he like that just a, yeah just a power he studies he studies life yeah he, he studies you know everything i meditate bro and it's so soothing it helps me so much yeah what it you... literally clears my brain when i'm just having a bad day or i have anxiety or like just rushes rushes of emotions I sit down and meditate for half an hour. Literally clears my head, and I feel like a brand new human being. Again. Who taught you about all that? Um, kind of like self-taught. Just like really had bad depression mm. for like nine months straight. I was like sitting on my couch doing nothing, like staring at a wall for hours, not knowing why I was feeling this way. I started looking up like all these different remedies and everything. Um, one day I just started meditating, and it, it helped a lot. It's crazy. It's crazy that um. You know, for someone as successful as you, it's it's almost like wow, even him. Like, it happens to everyone. It happens. To oh everybody. my god, dude, you have still, no idea. You're still a person. No matter you what, no you always got to realize you're never the only one. No, yeah, yeah. Think and, about this too. Energy is a huge thing, bro. Like you, um, you surround yourself with somebody that's depressed, mm-hmm. you're gonna feel depressed, yeah, right? True. So think about this. Imagine having five million people waiting on you every single day to post a video, mm-hmm. and if you don't post, they get angry. That negative energy of all those hundreds of thousands of people whoever are watching um, that all gets combined it's a one bro and just like yeah. hits you as a person i feel that i f- it makes me feel like shit you feel responsible yeah yeah i feel responsible i'm like wow like like yeah i started this as fun and i'd still like it to be for fun um but like when you have millions of people waiting on you bro it's stressful like it's it gives you anxiety That's it's crazy. bad and that that shows how complex emotions are because there's no real consequence to people not no. getting given there's no real no, no tangible it's not like someone's not gonna be able to go to work it's, it's like just... literally at the end of the day the only thing that's happening different in my life is i'm not making as much money right. which i don't care about you know what i mean i'm trying to be happy within myself mm-hmm. first before i'm able to make others happy but like still like that it's it's a lot of negative energy and mm-hmm. like sometimes i just have to like not even go on social media when i don't post because i don't want to see people just complaining the whole time about like why i'm not posting like there's reasons behind everything you know yeah aliens 100 <laughs> <laughs> aliens yeah do we uh, do we believe in aliens? Or yes. Other other. There's no way that... in hell that there's no other living exactly. organism that's exactly. smarter than us. Exactly. Really? There's no way. I'm on the I'm alone on this one. Yeah. Really? You don't believe in aliens? I can't say that. I Ghosts? Do. You think the whole I'm, spirits? 100%. I believe in spirits. Absolutely. Okay. That's, I, I think spirits. spirits are, are. I feel like it's a given. I, th- I think spirits honestly are like a um, like a. Uh, they're they could potentially be someone like us, but living in a, another dimension that we can't see. But you know what? Part of my belief is that. You know, I think that when I die, there's a paradise that I go to, but there could that could just be another version of this, just yeah. a better version. So yeah. who's to say that like my belief in a god is like that god doesn't have a god that he that he answers to and so on and so forth. So I rule out the green big eyed that type thing, but the yeah. idea that oh it's just us, I'm not so sure. 
Yeah, I mean, I think we relive <laughs> our lives over mm. and over and over again. That's a crazy concept. That's, and and we kind of like improve upon every time. And obviously, we look different. Yeah. Um, I believe in reincarnation. Yeah. Um, but I just see it's so it's so hard to talk about simply because one, I'm still so young. I mean, not saying that age makes a difference with anything, but I. I Simply, you don't know. For you sure. don't know. Nobody knows. You can be eighty. Nobody like, knows. You can be eighty years nobody old. Knows. You still don't know, bro. Nobody. He knows. said. She said. Exactly. You don't have enough evidence behind it. I could die know. one day and just be gone, and nobody. Like, what thought that always I have occurred some to my mind? Was... Interesting manuscripts. I want you to read. I'm gonna send them to you. Okay. What? Some videos too. All right. Sounds You're good. You're really gonna like that. It's Probably. gonna change your perspective on some things. I remember when I was younger, I would always think about, like, yo, it's always weird. You always hear when someone's born, like, someone else around the world is dying. Like, what if that person in California that died, now a you. kid in North Dakota that was just born, like, their souls. I remember I thought that exactly. when I was younger. No, I think that's very like, possible because there's, I mean, there's been a lot of stories of, like, people that have been, like, like pilots. And they've died, and then they, were like, remembered their entire life beforehand, you know? I have heard about that. There was um, a story, like, eight years ago of a little kid yeah. who was from mm-hmm. Australia who yeah. f- said he relived his life. He's reliving his own life again. Wow, but, dude, you know what's the craziest thing? I have so many times where, like, deja vu moments where they seem almost more than deja vu. I'm like, this has happened before. You know what's crazy? Mm. Once I started becoming more spiritual and more intuitive— mm. I am so dead spot on with so many things about to happen. For example, my friend came over earlier today, mm. and in my head, I knew he was about to be there. I, I, I felt it. And I'm like, I asked my other friend, I was like, yo, where is, where is he at? And he's like, I don't know. A se- two seconds later, he walks in the door. That's crazy. And I start freaking out. I also, this happened to me the other day. Uh, my Audi R8 had to get picked up mm-hmm. to get worked onto it. Um, I had like a flat tire or something. And I... I the the um the tow truck was on its way. It was said it was gonna get there at two twenty eight p.m. I was like, this guy is not gonna be here at two twenty eight p.m. Um, <clears throat> I put a number out there. I was like, I, I feel like he's gonna come at like three thirty eight. So at three thirty seven, mm. I walked up to my because he didn't show up at two twenty eight. Three thirty seven, I walked up to my door with, and I put my shoes on. I look out the window. I'm looking at the clock. As soon as it hits three thirty eight, he starts coming down the fucking road, and I was like, this is insane. And this happens to me every single day of my life. I get more and more intuitive every day. It's really weird. I like I, frust- know, I feel things are going to happen. I get frustrated myself whenever I'm having a deja vu moment, and I'm like, I know what's going to happen next, and then it happens, and I'm like, I knew it. It's like you. I, I wish it. I could have yeah. told someone. Yeah. I, yeah. Wish, I, yes. I just started calling my, my stuff out and um, writing it down sometimes because yeah. it's in my dreams. Let alone, It's just usually my dreams. And I'll, as soon as I wake up, like, I got to remember this. got to remember yes. this. Then oh, I remember yeah. it. And then it happens. I'm like, dude, this is so weird. Exactly. And you know, you know what's crazy? This is why uh, this actually goes back into, like, the whole, like, manifesting, like, what you want in life. Mm-hmm. When, when you start believing in yourself and you start, like, setting yourself a goal, um, dude, honestly, the next step is, like, taking what you want to have in your life and, and, and manifesting it so much to the point where you start actually dreaming about it. Mm. When you actually start dreaming about those things, that's when they become yes, real. Yes, yeah. yes. It's wild. If you start dreaming about things, dude, and you have that dreams over and over again or like similar situations, like those things actually that's start why to it's become called a reality. A dream. Yeah. That's why it's called a dream. Yes. So it's, I, I, I've always believed that that's like the – the higher powers way of saying I have a plan in place for you. Yeah. Right. And I'm, I'm showing you what it is. Yeah. You're going to have to put some work in to get it, but I'm telling you right now it's tangible. Yeah. And you're an alien guy. Are you a religious guy? Cause I'm getting that vibe. Um, I, I don't like the word. I don't like the word religious because Me of either. what it means. Right. The American church has failed us. Um, believe in God. Absolutely. Without question. But, I, I hate I hate uh I hate saying religious because it just has its own connotations. It's just not Am I an, am I an alien guy? Um I have a hard time believing that how big the galaxy mm-hmm. is, the universe is that we're the only ones. People think I'm an alien. <laughs> People think you're an alien. <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's just only Yeah, it's just another day as an alien, here. bro. <laughs> um, yeah. Have you ever thought about making a conspiracy video? Of like yourself, of anything, like Shane Dawson. anything that's in your Shane mind, <laughs> like anything that's in your mind that you always thought about. Like no, thought because about. you know, I just too controversial. Yeah, dude, I, I try to stay not super controversial. Right. I just kind of like stay to myself, my family, just entertain. You know, the more controversial I get, the more it's like more people that are hating on you for stupid reasons. You set aside for your purpose from doing this. Yeah, dude, right, I just like I'm, at the end of the day, I'm here to entertain. Are you regardless of are my you personal politi- thoughts, political or anything? You not no, to, not, nothing. I hate politics, dude. Yeah, I hate it, dude. I don't even pay attention to it. 
I hate where we're at right now in society. It's annoying. The Society's past, corrupt. Past two so years corrupt. has been uh, very annoying. Um, just a bunch of both sides, you know, left, right, the whole spectrum. It's just I feel like what we're hearing often or, you know, when my Facebook gets flooded with a bunch of different memes or when I hit like. Can I simply say that I personally think that um, people showing videos of police brutality mm -hmm. Is literally like manifesting within itself and making it apparent more and more and more, and people are it's happening more and more and more. It's like fake news. The more the mm. more you show people fake stuff, the more they start to believe in it, and the mm. more it becomes true. Yeah. So if we were showing people on 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 media every day that everyone's happy, yeah. you know that literally Isn't like that majority crazy? of people would start to become happy. Mm -hmm. It's like that they what they they advertise on the news at really? six o'clock tonight. Some girl got shot. What's her name? Tune in. It's like oh my gosh, can we? Like, why don't, is there anything good that happened? Yeah. Like, why are we showing just the... You you know, the more you show bad, the more bad that happens. The yeah. more, you, more you show good, the more good that happens. It's I'm, almost like we created that on ourselves. Like, you were saying, hey, tune in and see Tina shot. Yeah. It's like, they're not promoting anything good. We already have this thing. Oh, I want to see violence. I want to see action. Yeah. I want to see what happened that's worth you watching. I want to see someone giving them a t-shirt. They want that shock factor. They want to yeah. they want to shock people, and they want to get those view, the views and attention. It makes sense, but as a society, it's corrupting people. It's like... I was watching Joe Rogan last night, and they were just mm -hmm. talking about in some countries they don't even show the mass shooters, like the the mass shootings and all that stuff. They like, don't give well, the person name out. Don't don't because, give them a platform. Exactly, exactly. Because but here, more, but here we do it. Here we yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, it's it's bad, bro. The more you give these people attention, the more it makes people want to do this shit. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. But the then Kardashians. Like, then there's the other side that's like too sensitive about everything. Yes, it's hard to make a joke. It's hard to. Oh, everyone's so Having sensitive, a, man. Comedy, comedy might die, dude. It's it's hard. That's no, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it'll de it's definitely changing. It's definitely it's changing. Cha I don't think it's gonna die. It, it, but it's definitely it's, 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 but it's if it's, it's changing to, to a way that we don't even like it, then it might die. How does that affect like how you put out stuff? Have you ever had to go into wow? I used to be able to put this out, not anymore. No, I've always kept. I've always kept. Uh, I've never. I, I don't want to say I've kept my content clean because I curse and stuff, but right. like it clean in in the aspect of I don't. I don't cover controversial things. Right. Um, I, I don't talk about politics. I don't talk about religion. I don't talk yeah. about a lot of stuff like that. Race, all yeah. that stuff's out. Yeah. I just, like I said, at the end of the day, I'm trying to make people happy. Genuine I don't, humor. I don't, yeah. I don't care how anyone lives their life. Everybody has the freedom to live their life the way they want to. I have no personal say. I'm just here to entertain. Do you think that this, uh, this culture is go getting too PC, too politically correct? Do you think there's just, there's... I think society is corrupt. Oh. I think people, um, I don't know, dude. I just, I, I think, I think, I think, I think we would all be better off if, 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 if everyone just stopped watching TV. <laughs> Let I, me be real, or at least, at least like th these news networks that try to make things perceived a certain mm. way. Do you watch any of them? Where you just like, no, you tune off to all of them, bro. I tune out at all of them. That's why, like, the the less I involve myself into, okay, think about it like this. I personally think that like TV and media is a distraction. Mm. There's so many things that I could be doing throughout the day that that if I simply tuned in, it, it would it would be a distraction for me and I wouldn't be able to complete my goals. You don't want to be a crazy person, but sometimes you have to look at like what's actually happening. Mm -hmm. Like as you said, it's a distraction. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, bro. It's impossible to go on social media and to not see what's happening in the world. But I kind of just like, eh, scroll, eh, scroll. Yeah. That's bullshit. Eh, scroll. Some people aren't – some people don't – look past it people sometimes people dive really hard into this stuff yeah and, and it kind of corrupts their head it's a shame i definitely look at certain stories that they say on the media and i'm like what are they what are they they're directing me to look at this instead of something else yeah every single time every time there's a shooting every time there's something that me, me and my dad talk about all the time why am i paying attention to this you what, gotta, should, what should i not be looking at think about it like this if if everyone in this world stopped worrying about paying attention to the media and the mm. fake news that they spew out and everyone started focus on their on their self and being happy within their self they would start to be happy with other people everyone would be happy together we could all grow as a civilization and actually expand enough to the point where it's like hey we want to go to these other planets well guess what mm. now we have the workforce of millions and millions and millions of more people actually working together so many more i mean bro just two minds together mm. can can help so much with like creations of, of certain things. Imagine if there's millions of people putting their mind together for something. Right. Like things could be created, better resources yep. that could help improve this world instead of making it worse. Mm -hmm. Now, as a public influencer, you have a lot of people under you that look up to you and idolize you. Um, 
these people definitely tend to get shy or as soon as criticism hits, they shy away. Like, what advice do you have to them to, like, break out, be them? Use what you have in your mind. Like, don't be scared to be different. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this world Just, nowadays with being sensitive and everything, it holds a lot of people back. Yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't say um, – definitely don't, like, discriminate against others, right? Mm. Not at all. Um, but, like, that's one thing that you should always stay away from. And if that's – even if that's the type of person you are – Unless you eat pizza crust first. If, mm. Even if, if that's the type of person you are, then just, social media is not for you, man. Like, because it's going to come out eventually. If you're not genuine, people are going to see you're not genuine. Yeah. They're going to they're gonna read through you. I mean, you can just – I can literally read somebody like by looking through their eyes. I can tell if you're depressed. I can tell if you're happy. Mm. Um, and I think others can too. Like I, I almost asked you the I other think, day. Yeah, I think, I think people that are – like kids can't tell. Kids can't tell. But older people can tell. They don't have the sense of critical thinking yet. It's like, oh, he's sad. When you say kids can't tell, I can't. I, there, it's it's harder. I think it's harder for kids to look at somebody and read their eyes, hmm. and and tell like what they're feeling. Would you say unless if it's outside their family? I feel like little Johnny can go, oh, something's wrong with mom. And yes, dad. yes, hundred percent, hundred percent outside the family. Yeah, like like for example, I don't think like little Johnny's gonna come up to you and be able to read you. You know what I mean? I think that's something that comes with time and wisdom. Like, mm. as you get older and you learn more things and you learn how people, even people's facial reactions, you know? Interesting. I've always kind of thought the opposite. Really? That, like, kids are super into everything. They just can't communicate it. Maybe that's what it is then. Always. You might be right. I've Maybe I've always it's... thought that kids were able, because my, my, uh, my mom always tells a, tells a story the day that my grandmother died that my brother got up on the couch and he's out the window and he's just like, who are those big people? Like, who are they? And outside nobody there like, well that's a different that's different you know i'm talking about reading into someone's like eyes and their feelings and their emotions essentially she was saying that he was seeing angels yeah and that he was more in tune with like he was more in tune with his own spirit and soul than like an adult was because the adult has the stress of bills a job 100 percent. i, I used that. to see ghosts as a kid right it, seriously exactly. um so even if that transfers over into being able to be a two-year-old that can see someone and just like not know how to articulate I should probably go hug that person. They might still have that feeling of, oh, well, that person said, do, 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 about their day. You yeah. know what I mean? I think kids are a lot smarter than we think they are. A yeah, lot I mean, smarter. If you look at like a three-year-old, he can pick up perfectly, like, a ball, a toy. He will squat down, back straight up, and he'll pick up a toy. With per, per, I remember I told form. you about that. Yeah, if like, you look at how kids move, they move better than adults do. The weird thing kids is – Kids will squat to pick up. The weird thing is up. that kind of goes back to what – He's saying his conspiracy because mm. they're if you're a kid, you're closer to your old self. You know what I mean? Mm. That's such a good movie. I did. There's no way I'm not writing. <laughs> There's no way I'm not. But, but that's exactly what yeah. he's so saying. So many different much. conspiracies, man. It's yeah. insane. That's crazy. It's wild. But like I was like I was saying, um, if you look at like how kids move, I used to work with kids. Um, even as young as like three, if they want to pick something up, they're not going to bend at the hip. They're going to squat down the way your body's designed to. Yeah. And then they'll pick it up. So like things like that, I'm like, wow, that's interesting. Like, why is that? And then that they see true. people bend over, and then you start to mimic that. Yeah. So then you're like, all right, I guess I'm taking all this information. Yeah, that's like it's like taking a natural thing, and and you're learning from others that do r not wrong. Yeah. Like they're not doing it properly. How right. you know it's it was once a natural movement. Now you're seeing you're reflecting your movements based off of other people of what you see. That's crazy. It's, so it's like essentially the same thing as the media. It's like yeah. you, you see this thing's I happening, you start to believe it. Mm. It starts to happen more. It's like monkey a manifestation see, within do. itself. Yes. I, well, what's the what's the what is the purpose though? Like, who's behind trying to destroy humanity? I guess. Like, is there like a? I have this thing that's like corruption. I don't know, yeah. bro. I have this thing that's like when you're a kid, you actually know yourself mm. more than when you do when you're older. Because, like, say when you know when you're a kid, I want to be an astronaut. I want to be president. I want to be this. That's your initial goal. Mm -hmm. Like, you know yourself. You know what you want to do. No matter how far fetched it is. Mm -hmm. But you get older, and people start telling you that you can't. And you start believe, not believing in yourself. Yep. And you start not believing this. This happens. This happens. This happens. That was your goal. So now you're 20 years old going to college and you don't even know what you want to do. But you knew. Mm -hmm. You knew what you wanted to do. Right. Other people told you what you couldn't do. Yeah. that's right. that's That exactly goes back to what we talked about earlier. The more yeah. somebody tells you you're a piece of shit, you're going to believe that. Crazy. So You knew if, what you wanted to do. If yeah. somebody tells you you can't do something, they're 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 in, they're they're literally messing with your head, bro. So that's why I've never listened to someone. I've n whenever told me, whenever somebody tells me I can't do something, I actually I'm like, okay, fuck you. I'm Watch gonna show me. you. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. <laughs> I wish I could say the same. I let that hold me back from sports a lot. Yeah, a lot. I regret yeah. it. That's the thing. You want to be an NBA, NBA player. You want to be an MOB player. Mm. And then 
stuff doesn't work out. You're not tall enough. People told you you can't do this, you can't do that. And then you listen to them. That's what you want it to be. But then yeah. you listen to them. It really doesn't happen. And that's when people start getting depressed and people start realizing that they don't know what they want to do with life. What but was, you knew. What was your thing, Ant, when you were a kid? Probably NBA like everyone else. Yeah. Just like everyone has that thing that... I always wanted to be on like Disney or like Nickelodeon yeah. or like an actor. So that I was there from the, enter- from the get-go. I always loved entertaining, yeah. It was there from the get-go. Same for me. Mm-hmm. Same for me. Um, and that's why I did like theater and everything yeah, but I, I do sh- have I, I got my, my fair share of like athletic regrets like I, I think had I stuck with wrestling I'd, I'd definitely had the physique that I want right now <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you I definitely wouldn't. have the character for WWE I'll tell you right now no I mean like even that core but like I mean like Matt wrestling like oh like, like what the, I used to do Greco-Roman you shredded yeah shredded yeah shredded. Dude, dude, I, different, I, stuck. I was counting I used to wrestle too county champs I was 4-0 oh, no, <laughs> way back in 4th grade like <laughs> A ways back. Um, is, do you have anything like that where you're like, I wish I want. I wonder what would have been if I would have done this. Um, no, not often. And the reason I think that is because I think everything in life happens for a reason. You didn't let anything hold you back. Nothing holds me back. Mm-hmm. Nothing. I don't give. I do nothing. Holds Billy me back. in sixth grade said, "Lance, you can't do this." All right, but I'm gonna do it. And that then sparked that moment that no one could tell me I. Can't I was do something. 17 years old, and I told myself I wanted to be a millionaire by 21. Mm. Damn. You just manifested I'm 20. It. Manifested it. I did it by 18. Just did it. He <laughs> just did it. He just did it. Um, what's your proudest moment? Um, my proudest moment. <sighs> um, that's a that's a good question. I have a lot of proud moments. I think this is your like when one of my bed. proudest moments is is just knowing what I wanted to do in my life and making it a reality. Um, you know, I I always I always believed in myself that I could do something with no matter what it was, and I always make it happen. You know, um, one of my biggest accomplishments is honestly just being able to like see my ha- my fam my, like my family happy mm. you know i've always said this it's like i one of my goals in life is i want to be a billionaire right mm. and i think that's just it's just like a cool thing like a cool like i don't know thing to do right i want to be a billionaire so yeah. freaking yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so i mean so dude, much money with that much money that's insane that's it's literally ridiculous and completely unnecessary and i get that but what I plan to do with that money is just to help people, bro. Mm. Like, especially family comes first, right? So I want to make sure that everyone in my family can just live the rest of their life without needing to worry about money another day in their life, bro. I just want them to live, be happy, be with each other. Um, and then obviously anything after that that I can do to help out other people is is great. I, I love helping out others. I mean, I went um, – you know, every year I'll go around in Hollywood and I'll pass out like one to two hundred like cheeseburgers or something to yeah, the homeless. I've seen that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I do that like every year. It's so it's so it's so heartwarming. Like just to see the smiles in these people's faces when they just get something as simple as food. Yeah. So imagine if I was able to buy like one of those people every every one of them a house. You know, that'd be crazy. But then what sucks about that is like you can't just buy someone a house because mm. now they have to keep up with utilities. They got to yeah. pay their bills. It's like there's always get something. Them a, get them dude. a job. There's always something. Yeah. It's crazy. It's like um, you you being able you having what you have. It's like it's. Do you think it's changed your perspective on like um, you know, uh, being able to help other people? Do you think that's been like oh wow? Now that I'm able to, it's definitely made me want to. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's it's hard to help people when you can't even kind of help yourself. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's like the more obviously the more I get, I guess the more I want to give. I like that. Yeah, that sounds like that's that's your album title right there. <laughs> do you do you feel it's because you these people helped get you where you have? So it's almost like I gotta give. Not back even to people that, dude. That I just help get. I just I feel bad for people. I feel bad. I'm like you're Which, living. I get that. You're living this one life. Why are you not living it to your fullest? So anything I can do to help them, you know that that makes me happy. Like I like I said, I love to help people, and yeah. it, and you know sometimes people take that kindness as a weakness, and that's yeah. where it screwed me over. But it's like, dude, I try everything in my power to help help people as, ma- as much as I can. I want everyone to live out their life to the fullest. I want everyone to live out their dreams. Whenever somebody comes up to me like, dude, how do I do this? I'm like, just set yourself a goal. Yeah. Believe in yourself. That's what you need to do. Do you have a um, any um, anything um, specific like in the future that's like beyond the, the, the social media that you're like, 
dude, I, I really want to hit this. You said the billionaire thing, right? Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, Hollywood like, star I want to have. Cool. That's just another, like, cool accomplishment. Who would you put yours next to? Oh, I, I you don't You get even, to choose? I don't know. You don't. <laughs> if you, if, I don't think you do. Oh. I don't think you get to choose. If you could choose. If I could choose? I don't even know, dude. You don't know? I don't even know. I'd put mine next to The Rock. The Rock. Oh, dude, I love The Rock. Yeah, he's, he's dope. And Tom Cruise. I don't know if they're next to each other. But if you had, but no, if I had, had next to the rock, one the I'd I'm going next to the rock. Yeah, yeah. the rock. I, I've he's been the closest thing to an idol um, since I was like seven years old. Yeah, he's great. Like you guys got the same body type too. How do you mean? Uh, the Rock. You look the same, yeah. Oh, The Rock. The Rock actually. <laughs> has, How do you mean? It's in terms, in terms of fits. that we both have shoulders and toes. It like, both. Uh, yeah. They are light skin. You have hair. Oh. Yeah, we yeah. both have. Well, you one have of eyes. us has hair. Uh, Dwayne, if you somehow <laughs> listen to this, um, I got you beat there, buddy. So, but literally everything else about you is cooler. So, everything <laughs> well, else. dude, he actually posted one of my videos two years ago Did on his really? Instagram. You're and then lying. I tweeted him. I was like, yo, bro, thank you for posting my video. Much appreciated. And then like after he saw my tweet, he actually then tagged me on Instagram because he didn't tag me for like the first like 20 minutes, which I didn't care about. I was just like, wow, he posted my video. That's fucking sick. Who's the coolest person you met? Uh, who's the coolest? Um, Or like your, um, I don't know. I would say like the most famous person I've ever met was Justin Bieber. Really? Yeah, we were just like chilling in an apartment, like Get watching the like, heck Family out of Guy. Here. It was what? pretty cool. My friend Johnny is was a very close business partners with him. So. You were just chilling with the Beebs? Yeah, he's pretty dope. Just chilling with him? Yeah, I was like super awkward. Because <laughs> uh, like yeah. I just it was like my first encounter with like a huge celebrity. What like you that. guys do? Um, we just talked. Like literally just you two in a room? No, it was Probably like a group me, of people. me, him, and like a couple other people. But it was just me and him on the couch at the time because like everyone else was like up doing something. <laughs> How did yeah. that happen? Yeah. Did, so you're out. You're I'm assuming it's California. Yeah, I was in my apartment, and uh, right next to me, my friend. He came to your place. No, no. Oh, I was gonna say. No, no, no. Literally right next door. Like, hey, what's up? It's Justin. Can the, I come in? The, <laughs> ap- <laughs> the apartment right next to us was um, my friend Johnny, mm-hmm. and he worked with Justin all the time. So mm. he would just always be over there, and I just went over there one day. And Justin was just there. Yeah. And you were like, ah, oh, hi, Justin. Yeah. Cool guy. It was cool. You yeah. said you were watching TV? Yeah. There was like Family Guy on there. Uh, I was going to say, what were you watching? That's yeah. Cool. That's crazy. He's just chilling, just watching. Yeah, he's chilling. I remember I was at my, um, my dad's uncle's pizza shop in Philly, and this dude walks in with Justin Bieber badge. And he was like, yeah, I'm here to pick up Justin's order. And it was a small little restaurant, so you can see everything that's happening. I'm seeing this guy's lanyard, and there's a pink VIP pass. It's Justin. I was like, you work for Justin Bieber? He's like, yeah, man. I just got to get this dude's pizza. I was like, all right. I could tell you they don't like him or you're not happy. Someone's not talking to you. And he just goes off into his little Ford Escort like van or whatever. Yeah, you probably just want to get in there and get out. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. He just stumbled like, upon Justin Bieber. I, but, bro, just like him, he's just like he's just human like everyone else, you know? I've stumbled upon $5. Listen, if I come across The Rock, I'm going to fangirl in the biggest way. Oh, it's I will, over. I'm... What are, you gonna do? what are you going to do, Nick? It's over. It's done. What are you going to do? I won't be able to speak. Gonna, it's over. I'm probably going to start shaking, honestly. I'd then start sweating, and I'd be like, can you can you, can you, you please rock bottom me? Please? <laughs> can you please? I need you to do the people's elbow to me. Just do the eyebrows. That's just hilarious. Real, just, just real quick. I love him. He's, he's awesome. Like, he's, My girlfriend knows how much I love him. I was watching Fast 6 like before I came here. Mm. I mean, it's not his movie entirely. But oh, he has he's a spinoff now. He's in Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah, Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah, I wonder how that's going to be. Yeah, he's beefing with um, Tyrese, I think. Yeah, now. yeah, I saw that. Tyrese is pretty pissed off. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's funny. I actually passed Tyrese. I was in the car one time. I was recording a video, and I think, like, I recorded, I, I was rolling down the window. We we're just going by random people saying mm-hmm. random things. And, dude, he, he fucking flipped me off. I didn't even know who it was. No. I didn't know who it was at first. <laughs> I watched back the photo. I was like, oh, that, that's, oh Tyrese. that's Tyrese. Cool. Has uh, any, like, um, uh, celebrity like noticed it that you were like surprised about that you were like oh snap like you've seen that stuff cool dope um I mean the rock considering he posted me that yeah, was crazy it, yeah. um oh when I did meet Justin he was like have I have I met you before I was like wow. oh no you maybe you've seen a video or something wow um so that was pretty cool and then I we did meet um what's his name Jamie Fox <laughs> outside of the W Hotel mm-hmm. um and he he was just he was so chill. He was riding r- around a hoverboard with us. I feel like Jamie Foxx is shorter than I think. No, he's tall, dude. Yeah. Do you, he's tall. He's probably as tall as you. 5'11"? Five, five All right. No, he might, he's, I think he might be like six foot do you, something. Do though. you feel like living, living in Jersey, you're kind of missing out a little bit? Yeah, definitely. Um, I, that's why I'm going back to L.A. in like a couple days, actually. Mm. Um, and I Four. think I'm going to get a, an apartment out there again and mm. just travel back and forth. I was going to ask you if you – wanted to do that or if you were going to do that but i know like yeah i mean i'm currently working on something with my family so i have to be in jersey for the moment but 
uh, I used to like travel every month, like back and forth. So like a month in Jersey, a month in LA, and that kept me pretty sane. And then there was a time period where I stayed out in LA for like five months straight. Bad decision. Mm. I, I needed to come home. So I literally had to pack all my shit and just get out of there because like, I you was a party driving guy? myself insane. No, not no. at all. Bro, uh, this is a funny story actually. When I was um, in high school, everyone would go out and party, and I was the little nerd in his, in his room sitting on a computer all day figuring out, figuring out analytics and like ways to grow on social media. Mm. You know, So that was, that was my life. Look at that. Mm. I, don't, I, I actually – Zuckerberging never, it up. You know? yeah, Everybody I, else is out. You're like, I'm at my computer. Yeah, I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to become successful. I'm going to do this, do that. And then once I feel comfortable, then, then I will have go. my fun. Yeah. That's, I try to tell my friend that my friend Ogham's in the fraternity down in Drexel. Every time he has a party going on, he's like, yo, come to Philly. Yo, come to Philly. Yo, come to Philly. I'm like, I got bigger things to worry yeah. about. Yeah. I have work, school, internship, this podcast. Mm-hmm. You are just worried about partying. If you're he's doing like, it like once a week or once every couple of weeks, that's right, chill. Yeah, yeah. But like, dude, focus they on your work. They party too much. Mm-hmm. Focus on what's going to make you happy and successful in the long run. And then – That way you can do it. That way you can do it and you don't have to stress the next and day. I told him. I was like, yo, you, the people you party with in high school, no – 90% of them are gone. 95% of them are gone. You'll never party with them again. You'll never see them again. Then the people you party with in college, 90, 99% of those people are gone. People, people it's a very small group. It. It's only until you're older, mm. 30s, 40s, when you have those close friends, they're not going to go anywhere at that point. Yeah. yeah. Those are the people you can be party with. Look at Floyd Mayweather, Adrian Byrne. They go to the clubs with the same I met people. Flo- I met oh, Floyd. Man. You met Floyd. Floyd. Yeah, literally outside W Hotel, too. He came in with, like, his three Bugattis, like, his whole money team crew rolled up, bro. It was wild. This is, like, 1 a.m. He's got to be as tall as you are sitting right now. Bro, probably. (laughs) He's a little (laughs) guy. Oh, not not sitting, but, yeah, he's he's, he's pretty pretty short. But he's, like, yeah, that's – It works for him. That's his – that's he's, his bread, he's so quick, that's his bread dude. And butter. Yeah, so quick. he's quick. Yeah, yeah. Do you, Crazy. Did, did you follow all of his fights or anything? Or just no? Like I seen a few, but like, dude, he's quick, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. I followed him. What's I this? Him. He's he's thinking about doing the octagon. He won't do it. He's not gonna. He do won't it. do it. He can't. He won't. Floyd, don't do it. He won't. He, he shouldn't. Floyd? There's no money there. He it's will like not. Floyd, make, Floyd. I know you're watching this right now. Floyd, Floyd don't do it. <laughs> somehow it's gonna reach him. Floyd, <laughs> don't do it. Don't, did you watch the the uh, McGregor fight with him? Yeah. Did you watch that? Yeah. That was interesting. It was. I like watching that. That was. Was it just me? Did Conor McGregor come out gassed? Um, for he came Habib out. or for uh, Mayweather? What for Mayweather? Yeah. He yeah. came out too fast against Mayweather. He had the Marcos Maidana approach. He looked on Mayweather. like he was tired before he even started fighting. No, I wouldn't say he was tired. He ran himself into the ground very yeah. fast. Though. That's that was his problem. That's how he looks when he's focused, Conor. But Connor doesn't run. That's why he's gassed all the time. Connor, rides a bike. He rides, he rides a bike. You see, you see the the training montage. Yeah. Floyd's running. He doesn't run. He's he riding ride, a bike. He rides like, a bike. What no, is going Floyd on? doesn't just run. Floyd runs twelve miles, stops, grabs bikes out his cars, rides those twelve miles right. back. I like, see you on the treadmill at the gym. Oh you're my just, god! Yeah. You're just you just you incline walk. Are yeah. You so I do fifteen. Or this is my this is my my session. So every morning I do fasted cardio, which mm. like, for people that don't know, um, it's cardio without eating so i wake up in the morning i go straight to the gym i do half an hour to an hour of cardio i burn between like 400 to 800 calories whatever mm-hmm. um and uh, i put it up 15 percent incline i had to work my way up to that i couldn't <sighs> do that first because my calves would burn like a motherfucker Fast so faster cardio is a cheat code yeah it's it's killer bro it's really good it works i've done it i've done that with intermittent fasting it takes a toll your first week for me i've, I've been doing it for like Two, three years. Yeah. Your body needs to adapt. I've been yeah. intermittent fasting for like two years. So you minimum. would be fine. Cardio first just... before you lift or? So, no, no, no. Uh, well, look, I do I do cardio in the morning. I do fasted cardio. Mm-hmm. And then I go home and I eat. I actually eat like three to four meals before I lift. Mm. Um, I never used to do that. And it's crucial if you do because your lifts will be so much better, dude. You retain so much more water. So much better. Um, I actually, I, so. I'm sorry, say that again? You do, you do. Fast it and then do what? fast cardio and then I go home and I eat my first meal, which eat is just first, like okay. egg whites and some a little bit of carbs, not much. My second meal, I just eat meat and broccoli. Mm. I don't eat any carbs. Second meal or third meal, if that's my pre workout, then I'll carb load. But if it's not, I won't eat any carbs. I carb load before the gym um, to get that energy. I have a crazy lift, then I come home eat again, and then I'll do like some another form of cardio, maybe like circuits or something. Who taught you all this? Self learned. Self learned. Well, well, okay. My my friend um, Mike actually helped me learn like the diet planning. Mm-hmm. Um, but like other than that, I've I've pretty much self learned everything else. Like even right now, I'm doing circuits down my basement, which just consists mm. of like me doing like boxing and like the um the mm. speed bag and like jump rope. I sucked at like all those things. Mm. 
the two weeks ago. And now like I self taught myself all of it. And I'm literally like, I wouldn't consider myself amazing, mm -hmm. but I'm definitely way better yeah. than I was. Do you have a home gym? Um, no, but I, and I, and I won't allow myself to because literally leaving, I feel why I, I leave my house like very minimally. And like, that's you like the only out. social setting that I get. Yeah. It's like going to the gym. I, uh, I purposely got a gym membership in my last apartment. Um, that was 20 minutes away. Yeah. The way I had to get there. Yeah. My, my old, no old shop gym used to do that too. For it if I'm not going to go there. Exactly. So I drove past three to get to that one. It also motivates you more because you're like, okay, I'm taking the time out of my day to mm. leave and go to this place. Yeah. If it's, if it's at your convenience, it honestly makes you lazier. Yeah. Especially if you have money involved. Um, spending twenty dollars a month i might as well yeah you're like something. okay i'm i'm putting an effort in to spend this money yeah. and i'm lo i'm wasting my money if i'm not going right Are you bro, on? bro i take full advantage of my twenty dollars a month bro i'm there all day long right. pretty much especially right now because i'm doing this crazy like transformation yeah but like even before i'd go there for like two three hours a day every day and lift not to mention the amenities you use yeah, yeah so you you're definitely getting the full effect yeah 100 percent. Yeah. it's um, well worth it bro a gym membership for anyone out there that doesn't have one it's so worth it. Um, do you um like a uh, whey protein? Like any protein powders or anything? Yeah, or I do ice iso pure and isolate protein. Okay. It's the purest form of protein. What do you mix that with? Uh just water or almond milk. I I'm just have you tried Pe almond milk. Almond milk is fire, bro. It's so uh, good. That's what I like to use. So good. Mm. Oh what? I, I stray away from normal milk just because there's way more extra calories and fat and it's unnecessary uh, yep. for yep. my diet. Uh, I was doing water. Lean. I was doing water, but I realized doing almond milk it'd actually get a creamier texture. Okay. So, so I might try it then. Yeah. People made fun of me when I was mixing with water, but it just it, it's me, not bad. It's not bad. But it's if you're bad. looking for more of like a creamy texture, you don't even you yeah, don't even realize it's almond milk, man. Exactly. Some um some some almond it definitely helps. Try almond. it out. I mix it with some um some milk sometimes too, but you stay away from milk. I haven't. I yeah for this diet specifically because it's is just that all dairy. Um no, I mean is 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 eggs considered dairy? Yes. No. I mean, no. no. I would. It's not, but I would. Yeah, I mean, I would consider it dairy. It's not dairy. It's not dairy. It's not I, dairy. I would. Consider I mean, I have eggs. I have two. I have 150 grams of egg whites every morning with one egg. Egg would be a fat, right? Well, fat. there's fat and eggs. Fat egg whites. Fat there's no fat. Fat or a protein. Right? It'd be a protein. protein. Eggs would be a protein. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So cheese. Is yeah, I'll eat cheese. Eat cheese. No, yeah. you do, wait. When you do eggs, you do egg whites. Yeah. yeah. Egg yolk. So listen. Yolk has so too listen. Much carbs. Too much. So listen. Cholesterol. This is the thing about eggs, bro. Way too much cholesterol. Yeah. Way too much. It's terrible, bro. There's a lot, and just in single egg. So what I'll do is I'll do 150 grams of egg whites, get mm -hmm. majority of my protein, and then I'll do one egg for my fats. You know, you gotta have fats if you're putting on size. You need fats in your diet, or else you're gonna lose. Just like you need carbs, or else you're gonna you're not gonna put on muscle. Right. Um. You got to lower the carb intake so it doesn't lower your carb fat. intake and lower fat. your fat intake as mm. well. Right. But you yeah. still need them. They're essential to putting on muscle. Mm. So I, I do like this fat free whole grain bread as well for my carbs. And I do like this high protein almond butter. So that's my breakfast. And my next meal, I just have meat. Then I have um, I have meat and, and vegetable, no carbs. What's your uh, guilty pleasure? Sweets. Oh, dude, I have an entire candy bar in my home and I don't even go in there. Uh, I can. Uh, I, it's, it's like it's crazy how I can walk in there now and I don't have a single craving. You should give that. Does that to snack somebody. stand still exist? That what? outside your movie theater, you had like a your movie room. You had like that snack stand. You guys made like a video of you went to like. Yeah, that's Sam's there. Club. That's it's what I'm talking there. about. Yes, oh, dude. Every time somebody comes over, I'm like, yo, grab as much as you want. I'm not gonna eat yeah, it. Let me come over. Grab a couple Twizzlers. Yeah, grab a couple um, Sour Patch cool. Kids. So I'm that's, good. That's, that's my invite. Awesome. Yeah, appreciate it. Hundred percent. Thank you. <laughs> I need some candy. Yeah. Just for that though, you get that and you're out. All right. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Cheesecake. Uh, Cheesecake. Cheesecake's great. Me. Oh my god! You know, okay. My ultimate hundred percent weakness is a brownie with hot fudge on it mm -hmm. and ice cream, vanilla ice cream. I don't oh. need fudge. Oh, I don't need so fudge. Good. I need a soft chocolate chip cookie or Peanut some butter? cheesecake. This man gets so hyped. We are we in the car. He's like, I just remembered I have a cheesecake at home for me. He'll order this cheesecake two days ago. I'm such a fat and put it nasty. in the fridge and wait till he's I'm like such a fat nasty bee. Sometimes I like lava cakes too. They're really good. <sighs> lava yes. cakes. Yes. Ice cream? Yes. What is that? You mean chocolate with like um like fudge or like a filling in the middle yeah. that when you cut it, it just pours yes. out. Me and my girlfriend get it all the time. What is that? You never had a lava cake before? A lava cake? Yeah. Lava so cake. it's what's it? so it's essentially like a a cake that's not fully. It, it's like it's not fully. Uh, Baked, it's like a se? it's like a brownie cake. Kinda. There's like it like oozes out in the middle. And there's hot fudge it's like in the middle. It's like chocolate that oozes out. You, 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 you have cut it open, the fudge. fudge comes out. Sometimes you have ice cream on top. So I'll good. probably pass. You can I'm have not vanilla, a cake guy. Vanilla ice cream. I'm not it's a, not even like a it's cake. Not, that's why I said like brownie. It's, it's like, like a, a brownie kind of. Hmm. 
Mm. It's literally insane. Like it's, it's so good. Go to Applebee's. We'll order one day. Or go to Do- even we'll Domino's is fire, Domino's bro. Has a... Domino's their their lava cakes oh, are really it's good. That little chocolate yeah. thing. Oh. We can still split it, you know. Yeah, bro. we could. Hmm. You know what's really good too? Banana cream pie. Mm. Yes, I love anything fire. banana flavored. Yes. I'll make pancakes, waffles. I blend them bananas. Everything I mix bananas it all together. Yeah. I love it. I yes, love bro. it. Yeah. So we went from spiritual to food to. Lifting. We're just talking. Yeah, we're just going we all could, over. We because some, there's a lot of. <laughs> I told you it was gonna be formal. Yeah. I told you I'm not gonna go. So, you know, Lance, how you doing today? Yeah. Lance, <laughs> just having what was it? your GPA in high school like? <laughs> yeah, right. I, I mean, don't even know. <laughs> who, who I don't even know. See, that stuff's not existent. Who like, cares? Um, have you considered that schooling for um, like uh, editing, producing, or you're like you're content? With I did everything on my own. I don't know. Your own. All right. Yeah. When do you? Photoshop learned on my own. Final Cut learned on my own. Even I used to use Sony Vegas when I had a Windows for mm. editing. Learned everything on my own. Interesting. Do you want to get when? Do you or when do you want to get back into acting, like actual acting? I don't know. It's it's like it's like one of those things where it's like it'll come up in time. It will. I'm. I have a lot of things in the works at the moment, and if mm. like for some reason these things don't work out, then maybe that's the next opportunity. Mm-hmm. But like like I said. Whatever I put my mind to, I go after until I get it. Just gonna go uh, un- until then. Right now, Lance is just living. Yeah, I'm just living life for a few more days until I get back into vlogging. What's your advice for? Because there's so many people, so many kids. Like I think it's like they're like a survey. Like I, I want to say seventy percent, maybe, but kids that their dream job now is to be a YouTuber. Or an, an yeah, influencer. it's pretty wild because you know it's funny growing yeah. up and like me doing that. You get made fun people, of for people it. People yeah. made fun yes. of me for it. It's so funny. And now they all want to be that, yeah. and I'm like, what? That's what I said. Comes like, full we, circle. Yeah. At, at the top of all this, when I was like, you're kind of like the first of a certain. Um, it's like a movement per se. A, I don't a know. certain breed. <laughs> you're, you, yeah. Yes, he's a, he's a, a certain class, a certain. Um, like you said, movement essentially. Yeah. It's going in he's different the, directions. He's, he's he's the first of a certain type to like listen i i make my living being me you know putting out creative yeah content and older generations can... still can't comprehend that no. like, they Dude, don't he just makes millions of dollars making stupid videos like i'll hear my uncle bobby talk about but they don't even know the amount of effort yeah. and work that puts into this yeah okay it may appear that i posted a two-minute video but you know how what's much fucking effort i put into that two-minute two minute video, video what's the, sleep I, the whole the whole day it took me to record that two-minute video mm. you just don't see that i've been on a movie set i did an independent film so i know what it's like to spend yeah. 12 hours for and like then, a five minute scene, dude, my bro. My scene was about two and a half minutes. Oh my, that's what I'm saying. That's how long yeah. people don't get it. What's the sleep I like? See her. Huh? What's the sleep like right now? <laughs> you do what you want. I uh, feel like you just go um, to bed when you want and just. Well, I feel like no, as of right well, now, this it's is different. the thing. Well, right now it's right different. Now it's I'm, different. I'm kind of just going to bed whenever I want, waking up whenever I want. Before, um, I would, I would go to sleep at like. Maybe like 4 a.m., wake up at like 10 and start the day all over again. And I would I, – this I record all day long. I start editing maybe like 11 or 12 p.m. and edit for like three or four hours. How much just doesn't get used? I feel like most. Um, probably six uh, – no. I'd say like 40, 30 to 40% of the content that I record doesn't get used. Hmm. Fair enough. Yeah. I have a vlog. So like yeah, space. vlog. Yeah, if we're okay. talking about a vlog. Yeah. How long is it taking you to edit each vlog? Uh, about – it depends. It's just – I'd say roughly two to four hours. Yeah. And, and that's just all you just, yeah just and that's you. just me oh, that's just I could hire an editor but like once again it's they don't the see my vision it's, it's not, not the same, same. have you and uh, I've yeah. tried I've tried because it's such it's your vision yeah it's, like it's your baby yeah right and I get that way and it's I'm like, like I'll try to tell the people that are editing my vision but still it's like you can't you can't they don't see what they you see yeah they can't take what's in your mind and exactly. put it on the screen well you know it's wild the way my mind works it's so crazy like if 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 I had an idea like if we were brainstorming right and you said like oh this would be funny what i'll do is i'll take your idea and i'll literally make it a million dollar idea that's him and 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 i will literally see every single video recording shot in my head i will see every single camera angle i will see i will see everything that's going on between each individual person mm-hmm. i see that in a flash of a second bro that's it's the way thing, my brain my brain works i have to work on i can be a bit of a control freak like if i'm if well, I'm, me as well yeah if i was putting up shows at rowan where yeah. i was like um, you want to make sure everything's perfect, bro. That's, that's a good. That's a good perfectionist. Thing, it good is thing. good. It is good. But you, you there's I a limit. Think, there's a limit. Yeah, I think so that you're not. There, it, I hurt myself. I put up a show that I was just like, man, this is garbage. And had I delegated and was able to articulate what I wanted people to do, it would have turned out better. 
Yeah. Um, but I just didn't have that. That's time. That's that practice, trust. man. Yeah, I didn't have that trust to like. I'm gonna hand you this portion of what I want to make. Can you handle it? I didn't have that. I was yeah. Like, you know what? I'm just gonna do everything. The writing, the directing. I'm gonna do the lighting. I'm gonna do all the props. That's where it gets hard, man. A hundred percent. I I definitely feel you on that. And that's where like I've tried having people help me, and it's still it's just yeah. like. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You can't rely on others. At the yeah. end of the day, it's all Never. you. Never. Yeah. You know what? What you're doing is working. Keep it up. Thanks, bro. Keep it up. Thank you. Appreciate I chopped, it. We chopped it up pretty well. Yeah. We chopped it up pretty well. Ant, you got anything? Nope. How about nope. Lance? Lance, any sign off? Anything you're like, hey, listen. Um, I just I just want everyone to uh, – I can't speak. <laughs> the whole time I'm doing great Perfect. at speaking, and then there's my ending, right? The second no, I just – He doesn't want to leave. Yeah. yeah. I just want everyone out there to know that – Anything in life is possible as, you, as as long as you set your mind to it, you set your goal, and you believe in yourself. If, if you don't believe in yourself or you don't set yourself a goal, you ain't going nowhere. If right. you don't believe in yourself, no one else is going to. Exactly. You, you only have you at the end of the day. No one's going to make your dreams happen for you. Right. And with that being said, like we definitely appreciate you coming out here. Yeah, for Absolutely. sure. No worries. Sure. It was awesome no worries. to talk yeah. to you. Like yeah. Just to genuinely, cool. genuinely talk to you. The per- sure. the, the, my purpose was to uh, get to know you as a person and not just a personality. Yeah. You know, right. Just chill. for sure. Just, no, I appreciate that. Just, just I like talk. that. Just talking. You know? yeah. Just talking. Yeah. That 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 was a flow. Almost had like a, almost had a script lined up and just yeah. chucked it to the side. Was yeah. like, you know, we're gonna go off. You yeah. Know? No, just, just keep it natural. Just natural. Just chop it up. A flow. Any, anything could happen. Yeah. 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 That's earth. the best way to live life too. Is spontaneous and natural. Spontaneous. The more you force shit. Yeah. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. You just go with it. You could be sitting on the couch. Just go with the flow. Go with the flow. Yeah. Cool. Ride with the flat earthers. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome having you, Lance. You thank know, you. Appreciate, thank appreciate you for having me. For sure. I, I hear thank talking you, to Lance Stewart, Lance Two Ten. I feel like your social media is go without mention, but Lance Two Ten Instagram, YouTube. What do you have to plug? Tell us where to find you. Uh, yeah, yeah to Lance, find you. just type in Lance Two Ten. You'll find it. Cool. For sure. Yeah. You ever yeah. you ever look yourself up on Google? Just like, yeah, all the time. <laughs> yeah, I just see if there's any like news about me or anything. It's yeah, interesting. Just to see what's going on. Yeah, hundred percent. Any death hoax? <laughs> nah, nothing yet. Oh, okay. uh, that's happened before. Actually, oh. there was one. But that's how you know you made it. <laughs> that's how you. <laughs> someone's trying, yeah, trying to kill you. Someone's trying to kill you. You're like, oh shit, I must. I'm be good. that important. I must be good. That's so. funny. Good stuff though. We Appreciate got it. Ant here. Ant, you want to plug anything? Ant Hayes underscore Instagram. Ant Hayes TV on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Nick. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm, I suck at this. You know this part is like weird for me. I have to have somebody do this stuff for me. Um, N I C K underscore B A T T E E. That's Bravo Alpha Tango Tango Echo Echo. That's my. That's <laughs> you. My, oh yeah, you so suck. We're gonna you have to. We're gonna have that. to put that part you on replay a few yeah. times to even understand. No, no, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> N I C K underscore B A T T E E. That's my IG. Yep. We have comedian and actor. I should oh, say. Stop Nick, it. Nicholas Can't Petit. Ah, oh, stop it. Don't stop it. We are you not? Are you not? In you the, are in the works. In the works. Always developing. Always developing. Always developing. Nick Petit in the studio. Mm-hmm. That's where you're wrong. you got to say you are. Bang. There you go. Speak it Bang. into existence. Yes. In the works. You are. I'm the best thing around. There you go. Ah. Lance is right there. There you I go. I see competition. Oh. <laughs> I see competition. There we go. Give Lance versus Say Nick. you're the best every day. Lance even if Nick. Even if you're truly not, just say you are. Fake it till you make it. <laughs> there you go. Essentially. There you go. It was definitely great having you, Lance. Hope maybe we could talk again. Maybe, uh, sure. At, at, you know, never know what can happen. But it was definitely great talking to you. I appreciate everyone else for coming out here. Ant recording. You know, catch you on Ant's YouTube. A N T H A Y E S T V YouTube. Ba bang. Boom. There's Boom. Ant. There's Ant's Boom. YouTube. Catch the link there when he drops it out on his Instagram and everything. And we'll catch you guys next week right here on Thursday. Peace. See ya. <laughs>